Hey everybody, it is Tawny Atomic. This is 31 Days of Horror, and today is Halloween. It's the 31, day 31, our final film of 31 Days of Horror was, oh my gosh, what's it called? The Living Dead Zombies at the Manchester Morgue. The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. Anyway, it's going to be in the title. It's 1974, I believe, and this was an Italian made film filmed in england so it's dubbed uh, using english and an american actress i think or english a mix of english and american and italian actors i believe um anyway it was about it's interesting it's about this girl who accidentally um runs over this guy's motorcycle and he has to get somewhere she offers to drive him but she has to make a stop first and the guy is like a total jerk through the whole beginning. Um, and then they end up at this Manchester morgue. There's like zombies. Um, and he ends up trying to save her at one point. So it's kind of interesting because they don't really know each other at all. And then he's kind of a jerk. And then he wants to save her and it's like her friend or something. I don't know. It's interesting. Sometimes, you know, dire extremes brings out the best in people. Um... <laughs> If you like Italian horror, if you like um, zombie horror, it's kind. Of, it kind of reminds me of Romero's films. It has that tone more than like an Argento or something like that. Um, I, I think they were kind of um, trying to model Romero's films, especially probably Day of the Dead. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Anyway, if you like those films, you might like this one. It's not as good as Romero films, um, but it was a fun one. I know it was interesting. Um, I enjoyed watching it, but like I said, it's not as good as Romero. So if you think that sounds good, then it's recommended to you. And thank you guys for the 31 Days of Horror, for following me on my movie journey. And I will probably be doing this next year, if at all possible. And... Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful Halloween and take care.